Let's talk quickly about positive and negative correlation. Let's start off with a simple graph. Remember that the independent variable always goes along the horizontal axis, and the dependent variable always goes along the vertical axis. Now let's sketch a few data points here. And let's say that this graph represents your bank balance. Looking at your bank account, does it look like you're making money or losing money? Well, of course it looks like you're making money. And that's a good thing. So we say that's positive. This graph represents a positive correlation. As the amount of time increases, the balance in your bank account also increases. Now let's look at a new graph. This time let's say this is your friend's bank account. And we'll throw up some data points. According to this graph, is our friend making money or losing money? Well, this time it's different. This graph shows he's losing money. That's never good. In fact, we say that's negative. This graph shows a negative correlation because as the amount of time increases, the balance in your friend's bank account is going down. So now we see two graphs side by side, one with a positive correlation, one with a negative correlation. In the positive correlation, as the amount of time increases, your bank balance is going up. In the negative correlation, as the amount of time increases, your friend's bank balance is going down. Now let's look at these graphs a little closer. Notice the data points on the graph of your bank balance. If I connect these points, they do not form a straight line. But that's okay. There's still a positive correlation. By the way, I can draw a line that is close to going through all the points. We call this a line of best fit. It estimates where the points are, but it doesn't exactly fit the points. The same is true for your friend's bank balance, the negative correlation. The points do not form a straight line, but your friend is still losing money over time, so he still has a negative correlation on his graph. And again, I could create a line that seems to match the points pretty well. By the way, there are ways that we can calculate that line of best fit, and you can learn more about them if it's something that interests you. So let's see what we have so far. We've talked about positive correlation, which is a graph that looks like this. Remember the picture of your bank account. And we've gone over negative correlation. That's a graph that looks like this. Remember your friend's bank account. Now sometimes we have a graph that's not a positive correlation and not a negative correlation. Let's look at another graph. Let's say this one represents your math teacher's bank balance. As time passes, he's not making money, so it's not a positive correlation. He's not losing money, so it's not a negative correlation. It seems that nothing exciting ever happens in your math teacher's bank account. It just stays steady and constant. Well, since this is not positive correlation and is not negative correlation, this is an example of no correlation. Let's look at one more graph. Let's say that this one is your art teacher's bank balance. Now the data points on this graph are all over the place. Sometimes your art teacher has a lot of money in the bank, sometimes not so much. And there doesn't seem to be any pattern to when there's going to be money and when there won't be. This is not a positive correlation because the bank balance is not steadily increasing over time. It's not a negative correlation because the bank balance is not going down over time. This is another example of no correlation. So here are two different representations of no correlation. Both of these don't have an increasing pattern or a decreasing pattern to the data points. Now let me give you a couple of situations and see if you can tell me what type of correlation we see. In our first example, what type of correlation do we see between the length of a candle and the number of hours that it's been burning. Think about what happens to a candle over time as it burns. The candle gets shorter and shorter and shorter. So let's see what that would look like in a graph. Remember that our independent variable goes on the horizontal axis. In this case, that's the number of hours that the candle's been burning. Our dependent variable goes on the horizontal axis. In this case, that's the length of our candle in inches. As we plot our data points, the candle keeps getting shorter and shorter as the number of hours burned increases. And this graph looks like our friend's bank balance. That was an example of a negative correlation. As the number of hours increase, 
the length of the candle decreases. That's a negative correlation. Let's look at another example. Let's look at the relationship between the number of hours that I have driven and the distance that I've traveled. As I drive longer and longer, what happens to the distance that I cover? I go further and further. I cover more and more distance. Now let's create a graph of that. Let's look at our travel progress. This time our independent variable is the number of hours driven and our dependent variable is the distance that we have driven. We'll measure that in miles. We look at our graph and we see that as the number of hours increases, the distance also increases. This graph looks a lot like our bank account. This is a positive relationship. This is a positive correlation. Let's look at a couple of examples of relationships that have no correlation. These can be kind of fun. What about how much you weigh and how close you live to a grocery store? This is an example of no correlation. People who live closer to a grocery store don't weigh more than people that live further away. There's no relationship between how close you are to the grocery store and how much you weigh. Another example of no correlation could be the number of letters in your last name and the score you made on your last math test. People with long last names don't do any better or any worse than people with short last names. Can you think of some other examples of relationships with no correlation? Now let's look at what we covered here. We talked about a positive correlation. For example, your bank account. So the amount of time increases, the amount of money in your bank account also increases. We talked about a negative correlation, your friend's bank account. So the amount of time he had money in the bank increased, the amount of money in the bank decreased. And then we talked about no correlation. That's where we don't see any relationship between the two things that we measure. Now let's see how well you understand all this. Try talking to a friend and see if you can describe positive correlation, negative correlation, and no correlation. Then see if you can draw them and then give them an example of each type of correlation. If you get into trouble or you start to forget, just remember the examples we made with your bank account. <laughs>